Uh, so my name is Matt Brezina. Sincerely, our goal is to help you scale the thoughtfulness of your relationships, help you send thoughtful gifts to the people you care about most. And our strategy is to start with the world's most simple gift, a printed card sent in the mail. Um, the title of my talk is Rapid App Development, and the goal of this is for rapid learning. And I just want to show you some of our products, which will give you a sense for why Josh asked me to, get, to give this talk. So over the last nine months, you've seen us launch um, these five products from Postagram, Pop Booth, our Sincerely Ship library, library, our Sincerely app, and uh, a disposable camera app called Dottie. But what you didn't see was that we've actually launched several other apps during this time. Over, nine, or over 12 months, we've launched nine products. And the goal for this whole thing is just to learn, learn, learn. So why are we going to do rapid uh, app development? Again, the goal is to learn. What I'm going to do is go through 10 strategies, tactics that we've used to, to keep this process going really quickly. Um, so things that we wanted to learn, we didn't know anything we were getting into this. And truly, uh, mobile e-commerce is a, is a really nascent uh, market. Uh, so we didn't know, are people willing to put in credit cards uh, on, a, on an iPhone? Uh, are people willing to spend $20 on an iPhone or only 99 cents? Um, what do purchase flows look like? Uh, what kind of wording do people care about? What things matter in the app store? Does SEO matter? The titles of your app, your app icon. We were trying to discover all that information. Um, and our goal is to learn this stuff all really fast. So uh, really, this whole talk is a subset of Eric Reese's uh, teachings around minimal viable product. Our goal um, was to put out the most simple thing it took to learn the most amount of information. So the first product we launched back in December of last year was Santa Postcards. And what this allows you to do is choose from five photos that we put inside of an app, allow you to give us a credit card, test our printing uh, providers, and see if we could actually get people to buy and send um, these postcards. We did like thirty, forty thousand dollars in revenue. This was before we even decided we wanted to start this company. Um, then we said, OK, they'll do this with photos we provide them. What happens if we let them choose photos off their phone? So we made another app called 99 Cent Prints by Mail. That app allowed you to choose a photo off your phone, put in your address, and have it sent to you in the mail. Same printing. Uh, and here we learned how, you know, j even just how to uh, get images uploaded off the phone, into the cloud, et cetera. And then once we perfected those things, we had a really awesome launch with a product called Postagram. And everybody's like, man, you nailed that launch. And it's like, yeah, because we've actually launched several products before this. Uh, that app's out there. It's a five-star app. Um, and on in this app, we actually kind of fulfilled the vision of allowing you to send physical gifts in the mail to other people, at least the beginning of that, that vision. Now, um, the reason you haven't heard about some of these other products is because we've done a lot of off-brand testing. Uh, so we actually have a separate developer account at Apple. It costs you an extra $99 a year. Uh, and then none of our users, none of the press, no one in this room, knows about these other products. Another thing people have done is uh, test it in Canada. It's another great place to test a product before you want to really launch it into your major market. Hello? OK. Um, so our off-brand products you know, were kind of more ugly, less polished. Uh, and then the first thing that had our name on it was Postagram. Uh, I, I can't stress this enough. I've got amazing product engineers in my company that care about product quality, about the visual design. And I, I very, very much de-emphasize visual design during these testing products. Um, so this is especially in the off-brand products. Um, I don't de-emphasize interaction design. That's one of the things that we're trying to learn about. Um, so that's an Im important thing that we may make sure to do correctly. Um, and this might be scary to some of you, but let your engineers do their own visual design. We're trying to minimize communication so they can just move fast. Um, another thing that we do is we reuse common components. Uh, so the address book component of Postagram, Sincerely, even the Dottie disposable camera, they all are pretty much the same address book. They use the same back end. Um, the visual components are even shared between them. Um, if you're going to be testing off brand, you're not going to be using press. You're not going to be um, you know, emailing your existing customers that are happy with one product and say, hey, try this new thing that maybe you're trying a different price point. So we go and we look for cheap, disposable users. And we do that by you know, essentially going and grabbing users off of StumbleUpon, AdMob, iAds. Uh, I don't have a visual for this slide. And I wanted to add, um, I hope this information's helpful. 
Um, but don't judge me on my keynote. I, I don't think I've ever looked, made keynote look so bad. Um, you need to be willing to kill apps. Uh, and you need to make that sure that's a psychology inside the company. So a developer knows, um, hey, it doesn't, it's nothing against you. We learned what we needed to learn from that app, and now we're going to kill it. Another thing, uh, is there's a big difference between the app environment on Android and iOS. Right now I'm waiting for an app to be approved. I keep on checking that email while I'm sitting in here. Uh, that sucks. And it really sucks if you're trying to move fast. It takes, a, it takes at least a 